This is the plaintiff, Andre Richards. He says he's a DJ who was hired by the defendant. He provided great entertainment at the defendant's party, and the guy's stiffing him. He has no idea why the defendant's acting the way he is. The dance floor was packed most of the night, and he's here seeking the $150 he's still owed. This is the defendant, Alex Beckles. He says he gave the plaintiff a list of 70 songs he wanted played. The kid played only one of them, and 70 people left the party in the first hour because the music the plaintiff played was horrible. He deducted some money from his final payment because his services were inferior, and he feels he owes the dysfunctional DJ nothing more. He's accused of dissing a DJ. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff is a DJ and says the defendant stiffed him even though the dance floor was packed. But the defendant says the plaintiff played one out of 70 songs on the playlist and his choices were lame. It's the case of Uptown Junk. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Uh, Andre Richards, you are suing Alex Beckles? Beckles? for $150 that you say you are owed as a result of Mr. Beckles not paying you for DJ services. Talk to me, tell me what happened. Uh, that's correct, Your Honor. Um, on August 5th, the defendant booked me for an event um, right before my vacation. I decided to take the, uh, the, the plaintiff's uh, event yeah. under one of my um, events to be done. So, did you have a contract with them? Yes, I did. Can I uh, see your contract? Absolutely. There you go. Thank you, sir. So, go on. So, I get to the event. Uh, fast forward to August 20th, uh, August 19th, I'm sorry. Uh, I get to the event. I start setting up. My, I'm asking him hey, what's going on with the money. He said, well, your money is predicated off of the sales we make from the door. I said, listen, I don't work like that. And you sign my contract. My contract clearly states that upon arrival, I'm supposed to get my money. It does say, okay, paid upon arrival. Of course, you didn't get paid upon arrival, but you didn't leave or threaten to leave. You just went ahead and No, I, I, I continued to provide the service that I was booked upon for, so. Um, yeah, why didn't you have the money uh, at the front, uh, you know, at the beginning? Because it says on arrival. Yeah, because. Because when, when he got there, he didn't even get there until two minutes before the party started. Like, and ev everyone was already showing up. Yeah, but so what? You didn't tell him to go home. No, I didn't, know. Right. So why did you pay him upon arrival? Because I felt like he should have, like, do, do the service first and then... Yeah, I know him. what you felt like, but did you sign this contract that says you're going to yeah. pay him on arrival? Yeah. Okay. So go on. So being... Did you show up two minutes before the start? Absolutely not. What time did you show up? Uh, approximately 8.30. Okay. What time was the party? Nine o'clock, he showed up at 8.58. Okay, so go on. So I set up the equipment, I asked him for the money, he said it's predicated off the door. I said, listen, it don't work like that. People started to come in, um, music was already playing. I didn't want to feel like if I cut the music off, it would be a short to him, it was his birthday. So I said, you know what, let me do a masala. I even told him, middle of the event, I need my money. He said, that's fine. I said, okay. Continue playing, continue playing. Everybody's up. Everybody's enjoying himself. I'm playing soft. Are people dancing? At that point, because I'm, it, it's, it's the beginning, I'm playing like soft music. So people are still coming. I haven't played really the, the more popular type music until everyone is actually involved in the party. So people are coming in. It's about, say, 1030. I asked them, what's going on? People was already there. Already music is now. I'm playing most of the popular music. The second time I asked them, Somebody came up and was like, listen, we paid a lot for this hall, um, and we need this and this to be played. I said, listen, I've been doing this for a very long time. I know exactly what I'm doing. Just let me do what I'm about to do. Yeah, but if they have requests, why don't you just play them? What's the difference? Well, see, the thing is, Judge, everybody will have a request at the yeah, end of the night. And you'll have, at the end of the night, you'll have about 120 requests. You right, can't did really... you play any of the requests? Absolutely. Because if you're saying, let me do what I'm doing, don't, don't make requests? What, what, well, what? they're requesting more of the popular songs, which are on the playlist to be played. But at that particular time, we're waiting on still, I was even told that there was like 100-something people still outside lined up. For me to play the popular songs that everybody's dancing to, 
then I have to play it again. You were told by whom there are 100 people lined up waiting to come in? Um, people's of his party. And I said, okay, if there's 100 people lined up outside, why am I going to play the most popular? Yeah, but why can't you play a song twice? Like, you guys just don't do that? You don't want to do that? Well, Because I want to hear it twice, and I want to dance to it twice. It like, I don't really purpose, care. It but, you know. Okay. It, um, All right, but did, was the birthday boy asking you for particular songs, and you weren't playing them? He never them? came up to me and asked me for particular songs. He actually did he sent give you a list? Me, he sent me a list. When did he send you the list? Um, it was pretty much between, in between, from August 5th, so I would say... Okay, so with enough time. So did you have the songs on his Absolutely. list? Absolutely. Did you play the songs on his list? Yes, I did. Okay. Because your complaint songs. is he didn't play the songs on your list, you say? He didn't. Okay. Well, how big was your list? <laughs> yeah, like about 70 plus songs on it. How many of them did he play? Like I heard one or two. Okay. Were you listening? Yeah, I was listening. I was there the whole night. Yeah. Okay. So um, what is your premise on why you're not fulfilling the contract? He didn't play every song you asked him to? So if the guy didn't play the, the, the songs in the playlist, does the DJ get paid? Uh, yes. Why? He still performed. He still... Uh, but he, the, the guy's saying, I, but he didn't perform the songs I wanted. He should have stopped him at some point in the evening and said, play the songs I've given you. That's a super good point. What do you say? I agree. I agree. Okay, and you say? Should have stopped him. I should... So the DJ gets paid? Yes. yes. Okay, we all agree, going inside the courtroom. So we're at the party. Um, my friends are there, and everyone's there. So he's playing the music, and my friends constantly keep going up to him saying, can you please play this song? As um, my, my friend Janai too, she asked him, can you play this song? My friend Janae asked him, can you play this song? He said, oh, and he even said on the microphone, I'm not accepting no request tonight, so don't ask me for no request. I'm sorry, he said on the microphone, I will not be accepting requests? Request tonight, don't ask me for no request. Or did he say, I'm not accepting any more requests? I already have a backup. No, no request. He said, I'm not accepting, did you hear that with your ears? With my own, yeah. Did you say that? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so go on. So my, he kept saying, oh, um, shout out the, boy, the birthday boy, Alex. So he, he called me to the DJ booth. I went to the DJ booth, I'm like, Okay, so can you play this song? I have this, this, the specific song I said, and the song is um, Rihanna, um, Sex With Me. I said, can you play that song? And he didn't play it. And I had African music on there, Caribbean music on there, Spanish music on there, and he didn't play none of those songs. And I'm like, well, if I'm hiring you, you should, you should play the songs I want. Everyone left, everyone was leaving. Like The party ended at 2 a.m. The party ended at 12.30 because everyone left. And I didn't have a good time for my own birthday because the DJ, the, DJ, the DJ didn't fulfill what he was supposed to do. Do you have any affidavits from your friends who attended the party who, who agree with you that the party stunk because of the DJ or whatever you're trying to say? Yes. And let me hear from you. Come on up. Hello. There was multiple times throughout the party where he would send us over to the DJ booth requesting certain songs. Can you tell the DJ to play? African music, or can you tell him to switch it up to Caribbean music? Can you tell him to play this specific song? And we would constantly be going back and forth, and he wouldn't fulfill the request. He would say that, I know what I'm doing. I got this. I know what I'm doing. And That's kind of what you said in here, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, so people were sitting down. People were not dancing. People were outside not wanting to come in, because when you go up the stairs... So when he says people were dancing, he's lying? Yeah, he's lying. Okay, but do you mean people weren't dancing a lot, or you mean nobody was dancing, or? I mean, there was one or two. Our close friends were trying to, you know, get the party started, like trying to be on the floor. I was trying to dance, trying to, you know, make the party as good as I could for his birthday, but. How many times did you request a song? There, would, I, Sometimes I would request like a specific song and he wouldn't play that. Sometimes I would tell him to switch the genre over to like, you know, African music because. Did you not have African music? Um, Everything African music and reggae, I'm actually a Caribbean descent, so actually those music is more so what I'm geared to. So those music actually were in my playlist based on the fact I kept asking them, asking them for the money. Um, oh, is that why you didn't play it? Because no, you no, wanted no. the money? Well, the, the thing is, most of the, the songs that he requested are popular songs. So those songs definitely... Yeah, but they're were... requesting, they're saying, they're both saying that, that they co requested Caribbean, you wouldn't play it. They requested African, you wouldn't play it. That's not true. Okay, can I ask you, what, are, what is this supposed to be evidence of, that you returned two people's money? Uh, like, because I, I, I charged at the door, and it was like a refund. People were requesting refunds for their money back because the party was bad. Where is because the party was bad? Where's well, that part? Well, there was no comments, but they requested their money back. Did everybody who was outside in line get in? 
No, they didn't come in. There were some people that chose not to come in because you can see the party before you pay to enter, and they didn't. It wasn't appealing, so some people yeah, decided. I, I, why wasn't it appealing? Because nobody was having fun. Nobody Everyone was dancing. Was Everyone was sitting down. Nobody was. Yeah, but were there a lot of people? There were a lot of people there. Yeah, but who's gonna? I mean, I, I, you know, people, people peek and go, oh, that party's poorly attended. But exactly. nobody peeks and goes. I don't like the music being played at this very second. I mean, if, and if, but people were leaving after a while, though. That's the thing. If the music isn't good, people aren't going to sit there and waste All this their is time. about 50 bucks, right? What's this $100 late fee? It's also in my contractual agreement, because I actually extended in a text message. I said, hey, I understand what you're saying, and even if, if that's the case, you don't do what you did. He actually took off. He sent somebody to give me $50. He couldn't come to me man to man and have a conversation with me. He well, he didn't want to have a problem. It was his birthday. He sent somebody, gave me $50, threw it on the table. I was like, listen, I'm not accepting this. My payment is for the, re the remaining balance of $100. I'm not giving you $100. Y your service is based upon my say-so. Why do you say in your complaint, if the defendant wanted me to play something specific, all he had to do was pay me what he owed me? Because at um, that point, I was just DJing as a favor. That sounds like maybe you are getting angry that, you know, like maybe that was your hostage situation to, you know, you pay me first and then I'll play well, the stuff you guys based want. Based upon the fact that the event was from 9 o'clock to 2 a.m. in the morning, pretty much everything that he requested and more up to 1.30 is when everyone left. Pretty much when that, that's when I said, that's it. I'm out of here. Yeah. Nobody left until 1.30. Everybody was there. Everybody was up dancing. People were throwing Yeah, their we hands. have two very different versions of what happened. And um, these cases are always difficult for me because, really, I would have had to be at the party to decide if he didn't earn his, his fee. Um, and, you know, how, how do you define, uh, you, you know, you, you, your music wasn't good enough. People didn't have a good time. That's kind of such a lame thing to try to prove. But I have some things that are bothering me here. Number one, all that I kept was $50. And I realize that's 25% of your fee, but all he kept was $50. You've admitted that you left half an hour early because, according to you, everybody had left already. Well, why does everybody leave early? Um, that kind of you know, works towards them. Uh, you actually use a phrase, if the defendant wanted me to play something specific, all he had to do was pay me what he owed me. That makes me nervous also. It almost sounds like, hey, I'm going to do my thing that I feel like doing, and I'm May not going to accommodate that, you. Your Honor? No, uh, no, you've already told me that that's not true, but that is what you said. But it's a little bit extent to it. Because the event was from 9, 9 o'clock to 2, 2 a.m. in the morning, pretty much that phrase would come in particularly mostly at 1245. Right. I, you can say that all you want, but that's not what you said in your statement. In your statement, you said, if the defendant wanted me to play something specific, all he had to do was pay me what he owed me, because at that point I was just DJing as a favor. You're not saying here I played everything they wanted, like you're saying in court. You're saying here, if he wanted me to play something specific, all he had to do was pay me what he owed me. That's a very dangerous statement, because that basically is saying to me, I'm not going to go out of my way to play what they want me to play. So you know, all they're asking you to do is play African, play, play Caribbean, play, you know, you know, well, okay, play this song. I'm asking you for a specific song. It's my birthday, and you can't even play the one song that the birthday boy's asking you for. Uh, I'm ruling in this case in favor of the defendant. And if I rule on the 50 bucks in favor of the defendant, that also takes care of the late fee, because if he doesn't owe anything, he doesn't owe a late fee on it. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. So the plaintiff loses his case. Mr. Richards has just come out of the courtroom. You okay? He All won. Right. He won. It's fair. It's that it is. But okay. It is what it is. Thank you very much. Okay. You must sign a few documents. Mr. Beckles is coming out of the courtroom right now. This was your birthday, right? Yes. Fun birthday party? No. No, not at all. What'd you charge people to come to your party? That's what amazes me. Eight dollars. Eight dollars? Yes. Do you always do that? Well, yes. <laughs> A lot of people say, I'm not going to pay to go to somebody's birthday party. But anyway, I'm sorry it worked out this way, but uh, it, congratulations. Happy it, birthday. Thank Blake. you. $50, you're, yeah. you're broke. Yeah, okay, broke. cool. All right. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, well, I mean, everybody here has the right idea. It's called, actually, in the law, mitigation of damages, which means, basically, you can minimize your damages by taking a reasonable step, which is going up to the G DJ and saying, dude, play the song list, and that's it. 
That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.